Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you guys how I set my tip up up and do a little, do a quick review on the tip up that I use. Alrighty, first let's get the hole drilled. Next, before I even clean out my hole, I like to take my Vexlar here. Just make sure there's not, you know, straight weeds underneath me, which right here looks pretty good. Looks like there's maybe maybe a little bit of weeds, you know, the bottom foot or so, which is kind of what you want. And I'm gonna clean out the hole. Man, it is slippery out here. I am just sliding all around. All right, now we're gonna grab the tip up. And I use, it was these R-Tech Claw Firehouses. I like them because they pack up nice like this and uh, you don't have to worry about line getting tangled with your gear or anything like that. So what you do is you just fold it open, flip up the flag, you pull that out and in here there's a little magnet so it keeps your hook right there which is I think I really like that. So now we're going to grab a depth finder put that on my treble hook down here and we're going to let that go all the way down to the bottom all right so now we're at the bottom i like to pull it out i like to go anywhere from about a foot or a foot and a half or so and uh bring the wind that up that way the minnow is about a foot foot and a half off the bottom now I'm fishing for pike, so that's pretty ideal. So if that's what you're fishing for, I'd probably make sure your minnow's about a foot, foot and a half off the bottom. And uh, next, set that right there. Next, we're gonna go over here, the minnow pail, and we're gonna scoop one out. This is what I'm using. A large shiner. So we're gonna take him and uh, this is how I hook him. You know you go right under this dorsal fin you just go right through like that. That way he won't come off. And then you send him down. Alright go down there. Alright, grab the camera. Get, bring that a little closer. And then what you do is there's two two settings on here. This is for a lighter bite that won't take as uh won't take as much to pull and set it off. And this side is the harder bite. For pike, I like to use a the harder side so we're gonna go like that set that down also another tip if uh, if it's windy which it's not too bad right now but put the flag on the side that the wind is blowing from that way you don't get any false flags so now I'm gonna set that down there and this is what she looks like all set so, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you can use this or you find this helpful. And, uh, yeah, till next time, stay tuned.